Valentine's coming. There'll yes. be so many people. Imagine a Valentine without the flower. So it had a little bumpy start. This is the IFV on the cargo plane. This is where the cargo attendant sits, which is me today. Just started to the Sun Forest Transit Airport. Rig down, rig down, four. I can see these are red roses here. All the way down. It feels like you're in a tunnel. So heavy. Problem with the height. This kind of problem solving has to be quick on the spot, avoiding a delay. Absolutely. Okay, closing. It's much better than passenger plane. I think I only want to fly cargo plane from now on. Fly something different today, an Airbus freighter from Turkish cargo. Sam, inside 64 tons of vegetable and flowers. Let's check it out. Wow, this is all the cargo here. Yes. And also there are some lots of uh, air conditioning coming out. The strong air conditioning is quite cold in the cabin because you have to keep the flower happy, right? Yeah, yeah. The flower yeah. has to live. This is 64 ton, almost close to the boundary maximum capacity of this aircraft. Welcome on board. Uh, this is Captain Ferihan and the first officer Namuk for today. We will have the Istanbul sunset flight. Uh, flight time will be 3 hours 30 minutes. Uh, the weather is quite tough today. We have a foggy weather in Istanbul. Unfortunately, turbulence en route and a windy weather in sunset airport. Today we are carrying some flowers. I mean, the all aircraft is full of flowers. We will be carrying all around the world for the ladies for the Valentine's Day. On today's flight, there's not just two pilots flying all the cargoes at the back. There's actually a low master Omar here. What exactly a low master do on a cargo plane? Load master uh, supervise the loading operation, uh, making sure the load all cargo properly and safely. At the same time, we do a lot of paper works here. We need to complete before uh, Aircraft cargo doors closed. Are we ready to go? Yeah. All set. Ready to go. Yeah, okay. All set, Captain. Let's go. Thank you. The captain actually had the closed door by herself. There's no flight attendant on this plane. Be seated and uh, facing your seat bus during the flight. Yeah. 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 Great. Excellent. And we have oxygen masks here, uh, I mean oxygen tubes here, yeah. in case of emergency for everybody. We have the food here. Enjoy the flight. Any questions? No, all good. Ready all to good. go. Okay. Let's go. There's a mini cabin here. There's four seats here. Two here. And see low master Omar is on the other side. This is where the cargo attendant sits, which is me today. Clear takeoff, uh, runway 17 left, 36205, left. Takeoff runway. 17 left, confirm. 17 left, confirm. Cabin occupants. Secured. Advice. Advice, TKS. TRA. Engine start selector. Normal. Thanks. Off. Before takeoff, check. Break fan off. Good job. Hi, dear. Good job. RVRE. Good
I had a little bumpy start. Uh, I couldn't even see outside through the window. It was all foggy. And, uh, you know, somehow we just hear the captain push the throttle. We just took off. And it was turbulent all the way up to 36,000 feet. We departed from runway 17 left, uh, which was the low visibility takeoff. Now we are in Bulgarian airspace. Then we fly over Budapest, Zagreb, uh, Prague, then German airspace, and we reach our destination. Do you want to drink something? Yeah, I like to have a drink, yeah. Oh, okay. we have some water here. Oh. Some potatoes. Oh, Pringles, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want that? It's right on top. Yeah, I have a Pringle, yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah. I gain a lot of weight when I go on trips like this, non-stop eating. Yeah. We have some cold drinks, beverages here. Oh. Let me show you what we have. Beverages all rolled up. Yeah. We have cold. Oh yeah. We have one liter. Here, <laughs> Pepsi Max, one liter and chips. That's my lunch. Turkish most famous drink, Iran. Iran? Oh yeah. yes. Okay. Iran is uh, from Turkey. You should try it. Yeah, it's like a yogurt drink. This is your cold oh, plate. Oh, this is our breakfast. Yeah, breakfast. Uh, Sam, I'm gonna uh, prepare your breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna heat for you. We have two chores today: uh, omelet and uh, pastry. <laughs> I have the luxury. Lone Master Omar's preparing our meals here. Not good. <laughs> very good, very good. This is actually really good. This is the the name of this pastry. Burek. You have seen a lot of great 360 footage from the cockpit that is shot by Insta360 camera. Now I have a great giveaway. You will win one an iPhone 12 and also an Insta360 One X2 camera. There are two simple steps to win the giveaway. One is to subscribe on Insta360's YouTube channel. And two, is go to that channel. There's a video called Insta360 Best of 2020. Watch that video, leave a comment. Sam Tree travels with Insta360. The winner will be announced on that video description on the 27th of March. Good luck. After breakfast, it's time to take a nap. There's two crew bunk beds here behind the cockpit. Really, really cozy inside. And uh, cargo plane is amazing. You have your own sitting area, you have your own sleeping area, and you can uh, cook your meal and eat anything you like in a galley. It's much better than passenger plane. I think I only want to fly cargo plane from now on. Wilderness Control, Bonasia Turkish 6205, heavy, flight level 380, inbound pattern. 6205, Thank you, 6205. So that's uh, uh, Emirates 777, which overtook us very shortly. Normally they are cruising faster than us, so we are, he is pulling away right now. And I think he might be bound for London, I think it's Emirates 1. Captain, why, why are they so black? Looks like they are polluting. They are below, they are black. They are above, they are white. Oh, that's normally how they see yeah. like. It's so normal, because of the atmosphere. This is the IFE on the cargo plane. You can check the water quantity, a smoke detection, nobody's smoking, temperature 25 and a half, very cozy and warm. Doors armed, lights, you can play the lights, dimming, and audio. Just started to descend for Stansted Airport. The weather is snowy, windy, and the weather is bad. Oh my god, the weather has been so unforgiving. We our gear down has been about 10 minutes. We still have not land. I think it's probably going around. Uh, you can feel the wind was strong. The plane was shaking left and right, battling um, really tough weather condition. Under the 
just landed. Just a couple minutes, the first two pallets are already offloaded. And the guys are actually manually pulling the pallets one by one. You can see these are red roses here. Who would have thought the flower so heavy on the pallet? You know, you need a couple of men to pull out and uh, well, still only the A330 and the MD11 doesn't have the PDU, so you have to manually pull. The ground here feels like a natural refrigerator. There's some flowers already offloaded. The racing with time to go out to the market is quite crucial. Timing is everything in cargo delivery. We are going to be delivered in markets today and uh, we'll be at their last recipients before the Valentine's Day. Very critical issue, as you know, we have to carry that flowers between two to eight Celsius degree in order to keep them fresh. And also, as you see, uh, they have to be in some kind of uh, cardboard, some kind of grayable boxes. And these boxes have has to have some uh, holes in that in order to uh, be make 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 flowers breathe because they are still alive actually. In general, all around the world, in an average year more than uh, 600,000 tons of flowers are carried by air cargo. This, you know, this is a bit crazy. Of course, flower is important, right? Absolutely. It cheers Absolutely. people up. Yeah. Valentine's coming. There'll yes. be so many people. Imagine a Valentine without a flower. Yeah, especially these hard times, you know, people are stuck in homes because of that COVID restrictions and getting flower from somebody is really makes you happy. Fruits in that flight, these are all in the lower deck. So that means we keep them in the separate containers, separate places in order to keep that flowers fresh. We are raising with time because there's going to be a snowstorm during the afternoon and we are trying to push all the cargo out of the aircraft as soon as possible. And as after that, we are going to have uh, more than 57 tons of general cargo out of UK as export and we are going to fill the aircraft with them after that. What kind of cargo you generally carry out of UK? What kind of uh, export they have? In general, these are machinery, medicine, uh, some spare parts, some uh, aircraft engine even in sometimes, even luxury cars. Right, we the most right. Well, we all the cargoes out now before they're coming on board again. It's a good chance to go down to the end to see the tail of the 330. Um, it's quite interesting, it's quite long the plane really, you know, 23 cargo positions. We're reaching the end of the A330 tail and uh, interesting, I don't know, behind there will be a pressurized tail cone because we can't see it. There's a, a section block off here, but if you look down this way here, all the way down, it feels like you're in a tunnel. It looks like the ramper did a good job. Within half an hour, 23 positions manually pushed yeah. out. It is totally the empty out. now. Yeah. It is totally empty now, as you see, and there's now they are trying to 
uh, get all the cargo ready. New coming cargo. Yeah, new coming cargo. How much do we have? Uh, let me see, 57.5. Oh my god, yeah. almost a full flight going back, busy. The snowstorm is coming, closing in. For a guy like me living in Dubai, this is really, really cold and rare. Um, we have to quickly get uploaded because there's still about 20 pallets to get into the airplane quickly before the snow hits. The problem with the height, the contour. It was this close according to the loader. This kind of problem solving has to be quick on the spot, avoiding a delay. This shape, this shape is too high. The oh yeah, is no problem, that's so close, shape, look. Yeah. It's so close here, so yeah. Close. I see. If you send back to the warehouse, we lose more than one hour, maybe. So uh, we are trying to uh, fix it here. Do you think we can make it here? The snowstorm is approaching. It's okay. It's okay for now, but we will see in 30 minutes if we will need the icing or we just gonna take off. But we really have a strong winds. You drive one more time. Now it's okay. It's not touching there. Not touching there. Uh, at least four centimeters. Top of the boxes uh, with a forklift to the ah. inside. So they push the a little bit inside. Yeah. So yeah, it can definitely. be squeezed inside the middle of the plane. Yeah. So it's yeah. not hitting the the contour. Yeah. yeah. Then you want to close the door? This button, right? Closing? Yeah, this okay, button, let's do just it. hold down. Okay, closing. This is load and trim sheet, Sam. Here is the safe zone. Okay, are we in the safe zone? Yeah, we are in the safe zone. Uh, we are going back home to Istanbul. It's gonna be 3 hours 10 minutes. On route we will have tailwind, so it will take shorter. Uh, but on takeoff we will have strong headwind, so please fasten your seatbelts and save your belongings.
after a long day, we just landed back to Istanbul. We have a surprise for the captain. It's the flower from uh, Kenya. We're gonna give it to her. Hey, captain. Here's yeah. some flower for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> well, Very kind of you. Thanks for flying me and sharing this, ex you know, wonderful experience. It was extraordinary, and uh, I wish I could share the flower to all the cargo staff as well because, you know, it's just everybody played their role to deliver the cargo on time yeah. to keep the world's supply line running during the pandemic. It shows how important the cargo industry is. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Today was really tough day. We are too tired and these flowers mean a lot. Thank you so we much. We made it.